Tumerejea hii ni chill na sky minute of Fredrick Mundala Skywalker na hii ni ST Bongo. Uh, nipo na Sheta uh, raisi na founder mwanzilishi wa taasisi inaitwa Sawa Initiative ambayo ina deal na masuala ya ukatili wa kijinsia na mambo mbalimbali. Fanya mambo makubwa sana na umeona jinsi anavyojieleza. Sema huu Sheta katika hiki kipindi cha miaka 4 kaenda kusoma PhD ni mbona <laughs> Uh, Usomi umekuja ghafla lakini ina, in, in, ni kwamba tu na ile natural born uh, intelligence au sio jinsi ambavyo una, una handle vitu. Mm. So Sheta um, utafanya mengi sana utafanya makubwa lakini Sheta mwanamuziki hatutaacha kumzungumzia yeah. au sio. Um, ngoma yako ya mwisho ni Bazenga Bozem 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 na na bwana Mario, Mario au sio uh, mwaka mmoja umepita mwaka mmoja uh, ngoma una una record unaingia studio ya yeah, actually niki nikisema si record ni uongo na record mm. sometime unajua music is vibe mm. and feeling yeah sometime una feel kabisa kuingia so i have like four five songs ziko tayari uh, nilikuwa nataka niongeze zingine tano nitoe album lakini naona management kutokana na time yangu wanaambia basi tuitoe tu hata hata EP okay alafu ukipata muda tena uta 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 uta, uta record tena na tena kwa hiyo wazo langu ni kuja na album mm. at least ni waache na album watu waendelee kuenjoy mangoma na nini lakini napoelekea huko nafikiri EP itanihusu kwa sababu tunaenda kwenye implementation ya, ya mikoa kama nane kumi and uh, i want to do it perfect Mm. lazima ni wepo huko ground na nini niende. Kwa hiyo naona time yangu itakuwa ina squeeze sana lakini EP ipo almost labda kuongeza moja iwe ngoma sita au hizo tano okay. tuzi tuzi na nini. Na ngoma inaitwa na msosomora eh, na mm. msos, na msosomora. Oh, oh. Unajua kusosomora kama kula yes. Kula yeah, yeah. yeah, na msosomora is one of my favorite song na ngoma um, um unaitwa Maricha ufanya na some Nigerian artists uko na mtu anaitwa Fioke mmoja oh. mtu mnyama sana apige pige magita kwenye ngoma za wasanii wakubwa na nini okay. unajua kuleta mtu akipiga gita kama ni artist mkubwa unamfeature una umemfeature yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, na vitu kama hivyo um ngoma ziko ngoma zipo kwa hiyo nafikiri nitaachia nitaachia very soon na moto ni ule ule unajua sio tu kwa cheko sawa unacheza sasa hivi kibosi you know? yeah, yeah. yani moto ni ule ule kwa hiyo na ndio maana nimemchukua masudi kwa sababu nikiingia kwenye muziki vitu mm. yeah. nataka na mimi nifanye sasa kwa sababu bado unafikiri hata comment za watu kwamba sheta tunahitaji okay. unajua kuna ile kwamba ah bwana kashamaliza huyo acha yani mambo yake lakini watu wanahitaji wanahitaji radha wanahitaji mm. wanahitaji watu kusikia wana rap anasikia uh, kuimba na yake mimi ni mtu ambaye anaweza kufanya hivyo vitu vyote. Kwa nafikiri EP ita ita fast okay. yeah. okay. Well, um, we ni miongoni mwa watu wasanii wa Tanzania ambao kipindi kile watu wanakwenda kufanya video za gharama mm. South Africa, Kerewa na nini Kerewa. na zingine Dubai wakikwenda. Mm. Shikorobo na na, na, na KC sio. Mm. Um, kerewa ili, ili, ili kutoboa kiasi gani mfukoni to be honest bila kujiongeza wajua zamani watu walikuwa wanajiongeza sana eh, naomba ni decree eh, ni bila kujiongeza nimeelewa eh. kwa sababu hela yangu ya kwanza ya kwenda kumlipa godfather eh. mimi nafikiri ndio ilikuwa msanii wa pili kufanya video na godfather Tanzania alianza AY yeah mimi ni msanii wa pili wakati Diamond ameniambia shete na bitu shuti eh, hapa alikuwa nafikiri uko na shida kidogo na director hapa mkubwa na mhifadhi jina akaenda kufanya video na ogopa mm. eh kipindi kile nafikiri si wimbo gani alifanya number one, go, number one origin yeah. i guess yeah. alienda akafanya sasa nikamwambia hii inabidi tufanye 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 na godfather who is godfather memgugo hivi nikamwambia hey bro mm. godfather yenyewe ndio huyo eh kapiga afu godfather hapo kapiga ma video ya watu wa nyama kabisa afrika nikamwambia tumuulize ngoja tumuulize mimi mwenyewe sifahami naye vizuri lakini mbona alishoot na AY eh. kwa tukamuuliza AY wewe kuongea naye jamaa akataja dola 1000 mm. dola 1014 wakati wa Adam Juma alikuwa anatushuti hapa milioni 4 mpaka 5 alafu chupa tu okay. unyama mwingi mwaisa ngona da sasa 1000 <laughs> mm. 
Alafu nakumbuka kipindikia Diamond alikuwa hizi kushoti na Adam. Nafikiri walikuwa sinajua mambo pesa vitu pesa pesa no issues ya yeah, walikofishana mm. I guess. Mm. Kwa Gambia tunafanyaje na hapa kipindicho Adam ndo mnya nyama. Ah, huko na huko nini? Bas tukaenda South Africa. Mimi nilimlipa Godfather kupitia AY. Ah. Nikampa advance dola 1700. Ikiwa imebaki dola 3000 nitamalizia baada ya kushoot. Mm. Apart from ticket, hotel and everything. So the good thing demo na sasa mimi nitakuja na salam tajilipia. Cuz najua how um struggle ku ku nani ku 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 yani kuipata hiyo hela na nini. Na kipindi kile kwa kama milioni 19 mm. na kitu kuna kama ni kamlipa ewai ndo akawa ni kama agent kambia ewai if if saba ikipotea anyway ndo utarudisha siko sijai kukutana na godfather na nini kwa tumeenda kule the good thing tumefanya kerewa mm uh, ilikuwa vizuri jamaa ace proper yani lako una hisi kama imeenda sem salam yani arrangement na nini unakutana na watu the fun thing about this ni kukutana na watu wazungu mm. kabla sijakutana na godfather wazungu kama sita tuna discuss on how video itapokuwa Oh. Yeah. And imagine for that time I didn't know how to speak English kabisa. Kweli. So that was the fun part. Yaani umefika communication barrier. Kaka. Na wataniaga na hiyo story ambayo unajua tukikaaga na washika. Nikamwambia nyie, nyie mmekutana na visa. Mimi ndo nilipokutana na visa. Niko South Africa nimepokelewa. Of course kuna wale washikaji ambao labda walizamiaga mm. miaka hiyo na chat chat nini kwao labda ndo kakupokea menelewa Cape Town pale. Hoteli nini na nini meeting. Meeting na naenda kukutana na wazungu wa tupu. Bro, <laughs> Godfather anakuja kesho kwa sababu ya kwa anakaa Jobeg, anakuja Cape Town Cape Town to shoot ya video. Uh-huh. So mkaka meeting kama hivi watu wanafungua ma computer manini. Mm. Ndio alafu umelipa 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 10,000 <laughs> wao wanakuchukulia ni kwamba huyu alipotoka huko kwao. Kwanza katulipa sisi. Katoka huko kwa yani huyu mtu ni mnyama hey. Kwa hiyo yani hiyo shima na ni hello sir. How are you? Everything is okay? Yeah. Scrub I don't know scrub it's like it was Mr. Shadow it's like it says I do and I'm on like you know it's supposed to be regular so you understand for the check up from there. Na unabidi ucheck like ujaelewa kitu vitu vyote vimepita pita huko. Vimepita huko, vimepita huko, vimepita huko. Sasa ile mshikaji wangu alikuwa naye kazi wewe mtu gani umekasa South Africa hata Kiingereza hujui. It was really cool. the all any the all meeting we talking about the video one hour meeting lakini unasikia your resume I don't say so you and them on that's a very beautiful angle like someone said you know about two beautiful guys like Na una video na tupu na wewe wakicheka na unacheka. Afu akipiga na sir, is it okay? Na video ni okay. Ni kama jua na ina okay na fine. I think that's fine. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. fine. Yeah, no problem, no problem. No problem. Wakicheka na unacheka. Yaani lazima usijua. Usiwe kwa gari movie. Ukwenda kwenye movie. Usiwe kwenda kwenye movie. Uelewe movie ni jeno cinema. Afu watu watu wanacheka. Na hiyo inabidi ucheke. Ndio kitu ambacho kimenikuta katika ile miti. Is a very funny thing. Sasa the funny part. Eh. Diamond kaja. Mhm. Tuna shoot kesho yake. Sasa tunaona tunapeleka location kaka kama Mwanza. Unajua Mwanza? Eh. Kwenye mawe mawe. Unajua Cape Town kuna mawe mawe same fly. Oh, okay. Sasa Diamond ananiambia, "Kaka, hiki tu tungeshutia Mwanza." Kwa nini mmepangaje? Nikaambia mkubwa, vilikuwa vitapita huku. Labda tulikuwa tunaambia tunakupeka kwenye Kwa hiyo kama ungeelewa labda ningekataa, yani kwamba no 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 no, I think mm. this is not okay. Afu kipindi kile lazima uonyeshe mazingira. Tunajua yeah. yani tumetoka zetu huku, mm. tumeenda kule. Lazima mm. uonyeshe mta fulani hivi magorofa manini. Na ndio watu wajue kama huko zako jo, nani South Africa na nini. Kwa kaka ndio kwa kaka alikuwa anashindwa kuambia, kaambia kaka. Hebu niache kwanza. Sasa sikiliza mnyama aingie hapa. Mm. Meneja abadilishe badilishe. Kwa salamu alikuwa msalamu sikio. Okay. Kwa akabadilisha badilisha hapo. Kiingereza bro. Do at least tukapata sehemu ya mnyama zingira mazuri. Alikuwa anawaambia sasa, hey. we need a very beautiful presses so that we can show in South Africa right now. Mm. Man, we have something like this in Mwanza. Yes. There's a place in Tanzania called in Mwanza. This is not <laughs> it's not surprise for us, yeah, you know. Kwa wao wenyewe kutupeka kwenye limit. Mimi kumbe nilikubali kwenye meeting. 
tunajua sio kwa salao sio kwa salao so um that's very fun <laughs> part but it, the video ilikuwa vizuri tukapata na brand awareness i mean brand re- replacement oh, yeah. yeah one of the big company na nikalipwa dola 10000 imagine nikalipwa yeah ah. cuz uh, godfather told me like yo shetter the this big company want to do product replacement yeah, yeah. do you mind and can be of course so how we can deal with so, mm. what i'm i'm going to benefit and say they they going to give something maybe like 10000 or something can be up up wake up umepiga nyingine ya juu utajua mwenye mimi hiyo dola 10000 yeah idondoshe hapa kwa ile 3000 akajikata kabisa akanipa 1700 nikampuliza kidogo mwanangu oh, yeah. e, na sibu nkambia kaa kwenye 2000 hapo eh unaelewa eh akanambia sio maana uko na bicha bicha ni nani ukiinvest vitu vina nyingi kwao nikaa nimebaki na 5000 yangu afu nakumbuka ilikuwa ni MTV Music Award eh Daban court kutoka part kana Daban kwao niko Daban mimi hapa niko happy kinoma video nishamaliza yes, 2018 hiyo hiyo nilikuepo nilikuepo tulikuwa wote Daban yeah, 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 yeah. kwenye ile yeah, ushaka yeah, nini kina ile tulikuwa pamoja sasa pale tumetoka shoot pale bro okay. eh yeah. tukaingia kwenye MTV of course tulikuwa come on yeah, yeah. yeah. tunazungumzia wale waandishi wa habari ambao miaka hiyo wako masauz yeah, wa yeah. you know what it is yeah. so kwa kiingereza mkubwa kilikwepo <laughs> au nawe pia kilikuwa kilikwepo <laughs> lakini siku anakukutana <laughs> na, na mazingira kama yako yako ah kaka mimi yeah, speaking yeah. of kiingereza bro yani sasa hivi ukiona mm. nafanya vikao na mawaziri na nani na nani i, I, I mean, I mean shit, mabalozi na uliwezaje yani umekibrush ume vipi kwa sababu hujaenda shule au ulifanyaje um Unajua of course shule zetu hizi mimi tumesoma nani hizi hizi shule za Sant Kayumba nasema yeah. nimetoka Boma nimeenda kusoma Benjamin Mkapa mm. nikasoma na jitegemee and um, tukaanza kuwa wasanii wakubwa na nini nimekutana na mikasa mingi hiyo nimekwambia mkasa mmoja tu yeah. mimi nishakutana mara kwanza napanda ndege ilikuwa ni 2009 mm. naenda tu hapo naenda Mwanza ili niende Geita ndege ni saa 11 moja naondoka mimi saa 4 asubuhi niko airport mm. unajua ili siniache saa 4 ndege naondoka saa 11 saa 11 moja yani mewahi sana ili siniache si ndio mara kwanza yeah, afu yeah. nimepelekwa na watu wengi sana yani jamaa anaenda kupanda ndege for the first time unajua <laughs> um, speaking of kiingereza hiyo haiingii sana lakini it's just a, one of the fun things yeah, yeah. imenikutaga miaka hiyo ya nyuma kwa sababu ndio mara kwanza napanda ndege mm. i told you I'm, ve- i'm from very poor family yes, yes. kwa kupandaji ndege it's something big for us kipindi eh, lakini mara kwanza naenda europe nilikuwa naenda oslo norway um, mara ya kwanza naenda ulaya kwa hiyo mm. napanda ndege ambazo watu wanaokuhudumia kwenye ndege wale ya hostels hawajui Kiswahili take it from me yeah. nimekaa hapa na hapa na mtu muda wa, wa chakula nifikiri dina yani dina nataka kula chakula cha mtu ambaye anakula karibu yango and i didn't know how to say yeah just like that yani siwezi kusema hilo neno just like that sijui unanielewa kwa hiyo amekuja dada pale hey so how are you so what you gonna take Tore za beef sina mimi nakiniambia beef naweza kujua beef beef labda za kupigana ni kumbe beef kipindi hicho ni nyama na nini you know um naulizwa sasa nini unakula nataka kusema kama kile mm-hmm. na shindwa kwa hiyo inabidi sio unajua tuna wa Tanzania karibu nani nambia anauliza kwa hiyo uko unataka nikamwambia nataka ana chakula jamaa ndio jamaa akasaidia kikaleta nafika Amsterdam migration Unaenda wapi kufanya nini? Sasa pale si ndio maswali. Yeah. Eh, mziki pale. Mimi ndio nikamwambia sikizeni, sikizeni kama na, naweza kurudishwa, nirudishwe. Ikabidi eh sawa so, waelewi pia. Kwa ikabidi unajua kila international airport kuna kuoga na watu wale wa Karimani, unajua. Yeah. Kwa kaitwa mtu ambaye anaongea Kiswahili, kaelezea na nini ndio nikapita. Kwa hivyo ni vitu mikasa ambayo kama ujui Kiingereza kiliniku kilinikuta. Kwa ni moja ambavyo ngasema no no no. I think I need to learn how to speak English. Yaani there's no way huko tunapoenda um utaumbuka zaidi. Utaumbuka zaidi. Yeah. Uh, interviews na nini kipindi kile tunaenda sana ma South Africa wapi channel o, MTV zinakuja hivi. Mm, unaona mtu anakuja na kamera na nani unaona mama yangu. Mama yangu hiki ni nini? Ndio unatafuta kama kuna unajua <laughs> zile. Kwa hiyo sasa hivi unyama mwingi. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Na learning 
mimi sijai kwenda kusomea Kiingereza. Ah. Eh, niliambiwa tu ongea sana, usio na aibu kuongea. Umeelewa? Eh, unajua Kiingereza ni ni lugha. Ni lugha kama lugha zingine. Yeah. Kuna watu waongee Kiingereza Practice. kabisa. Lakini sasa dunia tulipo, Kiingereza usipojua kaka ndo shida Mish. kama hizo. Eh, unataka uweke kwenye barabara nzuri, unaenda kuweka kwenye mawe. Yeah. Eh, sasa hiyo ni bad <laughs> effect ya kitu ambacho ona. Kwa hiyo nimejifunza na sasa hivi naweza naweza kufanya interviews yani wana hawa nikaongea Kiingereza naweza kufanya presentation eh, naweza nikakaa na watu nikauza eh, wazo mm. eh, la kitu kikubwa na nini lakini haikuwa rahisi yeah. eh, kukosea kuchekwa ku nini naelewa bwana kwa hiyo ya tumeenda hivyo umeelewa lakini it's it's something yani yeah. mimi kwangu naonaaga ni kama ki, yani ni, it's a fun na huko na huko na huko proud kuizungumzia kwa sababu ushatoka kwenye of course kwa sababu nishatoka kwenye wewe ulimwengu yani sasa ni vile kuambia mtu anaambia sheta um, ilala nilipotoka ilala sisi kwetu ilikuwa ni familia ishirini zile mna kuna vyo vinne unajua sasa hivi mtu unaweza kujisaidia ndani like kila kitu kiko ndani mimi nimetoka ilala pale familia watu ya familia 20 kuna vyo vinne kwa manake usiku kama kana haja ndogo ikikubana iki kuna makopo siji kama kaka yeah, umepitia yeah. umepitia hiyo yeah. yani mnalala na makopo ndani manake haja yeah. ndogo unamaliza ndani asubuhi mtaenda kumwaga kesho, kesho. umeelewa lakini kama kubwa sasa inabidi uamshe watu kwa sababu choo kipo kama mita mia hivi unajua uwanja wa mpira eh bali kipo kule eh. afu saa nane usiku ai kwao unaweza kukutana na vitu vyovyote ambavyo utakutana navyo utajua kwa hiyo anaamsho kama ni kaka A, nani e, alafu kipindi kile choo lazima uende kwa sababu kinapoenda kuna mshumara amna si utafika utawacha utawacha taa na nini yeah, yeah. so it's a fun things is historical ina ina inatufanya ina inatujenga tunakuwa kwamba i don't wanna go back there mm-hmm. Mimi unajua niko naenda mita moja mita 100 kwenda kujisaidia usiku kama tumbo linauma maana yake kuna mtu wewe unajisaidia kwa pembeni. Mm. So unajua ndio mdogo mdogo na nini? Umeendelea. Kwa utaki mfano labda watoto kwenye jamii wapitie, wapitie yeah. hivyo na nini? Kwa unapambana. Yeah. Kwa hiyo ni kitu ambayo ni spirit inakupa wewe kwamba uendelee kupambana kwamba yeah. we don't go back there because it was really bad. Sure. Umeendelea but It's not something good binadamu watu kupitia lakini ndio tushapitia. Unajua mm-hmm. sasa hivi vijana wetu kuna maisha hawajapitia. Hawaja kabisa. Umeelewa? Lakini imagine sidhani kama sasa hivi watu bado wana kujua kwenye kopo. Wapu kama wapo wachache sana eh? Ya lakini sasa tuliishi hivyo yeah. na imetujenga. Na hata huyu mtu ambaye anafanya hivyo sasa hivi akipata opportunity hawezi kuwa eh nani uweze kutaka kurudi, ku, kurudi tena. Kwa ni vitu ambavyo I'm very proud kuvifaa, mm-hmm. kuvielezea kwamba nilivipitia lakini sasa hivi ukimwona Sheta yuko kwenye Range Rover, Sheta kabadilisha gari, eh, Sheta anafanya hivi. It's not something if imekuja. This yeah. is a plan. Yaani watu we struggling, you know? Yeah. Yeah, hiyo ni kitu ambacho vijana wengi napendaka kuambia. Mtu mwingine mtu anaweza kama Sheta kamjua ah a brother many wale bishow yule au no 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 yani mm. tumepitia magumu na leo tumekaa ndio juzi nimeandika kwenye instagram yangu maskini nimepata na mataa kwa yalimbwa hata <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you know what it is yeah, yeah. kwamba mimi ndio mtu ambaye nafikiri kwa nilipotoka paka hapa nisipomshukuru Mungu ni jambo la kukosea kweli kabisa umeelewa kwa sababu nimetoka katika maisha magumu lakini sasa hivi unaweza kukaa Uh, brother nyuma ya kamera pale akasema bwana isina nipiga sana mm. kipindi hicho una isina unaitafuta yani sasa hivi tunalefta tu izime tunaitafuta ukiingia sehemu kuna baridi ukae kwanza utulie na nini those kind of lifestyle maisha magumu bro umeelewa okay. okay. lakini sasa hivi tumejifunza mengi tunaenda paka sasa hivi I'm, i'm thinking about kwenda chuo tena mm. eh, naudi shule mwezi wa saba um, at least sasa tuongeza elimu yeah. kwenye ukubwa huo yeah na kozi mbili ambazo nilikuwa nazifikiria la political science eh, au nichukue international relation oh, nice. then to to tufanye katika mazingira hayo kwa at least basi una degree fulani hivi kama simama na yeah, yeah. na unakuwa mtu ambaye wa kuheshimika na kuaminika kwenye jamii okay. eh, kwamba unaweza kufanya vitu vikubwa hivi vitu vyote ambavyo unavifanya na umevizungumzia thanks kwanza ume umenipa hiyo credit lakini mm. brother ni kujifunza uh, mambo mbalimbali na kuwa tayari kufanya implementation ya hayo mambo ambayo unajifunza. Okay. Ndio maana sasa hivi unaweza kukaa kwenye vikao, 
unaweza ukapresent jambo unaweza kuwa na taasisi ukawa na watu nyuma na vitu vikaenda kama mtu ambaye ana PhD au ana nini umeelewa kwa sababu tuko kuna utayari na vitu vingine ambavyo tumekutana navyo vichekesho uh, viburudisho mm. lakini vinatufanya tuwe tuwe strong, no strong. sana yeah. okay. Sheta, speaking of uh, kupoteza marafiki na watu ambao uko nao karibu Diamond umetoa hiyo story na ni mm. brother ambaye amepitia vitu vingi pamoja mm. Mm. sasa hivi hamko karibu tena like the friendship haipo nini kilitokea kwanza mimi na Diamond ni washikaji sana mimi mm. uh, naweza ku hivyo um, sidhani kama imepita hata siku moja amenicheki amini amenicheki tu kama nitumie picha DM niko mimi yeye na Techno alipokuja hapa Techno oh. eh, tulikuwa Cape Town tumechill na nimbia da long time bro ni mtu ambaye tuna chat eh, there is something mimi na Diamond tunapenda sana matani masiara like ndo urafikia tunafikia ulijengwa kipindi cha masiara mengi oh, sana yeah, na yeah. lakini napenda ni decay na nishe kuzungumza sema i guess kama sijazungumza nizungumze hapa yeah. urafiki wetu wa kuwa karibu sana ni kweli ulipotea na ulipotea katika mazingira ya kazi mm. umeelewa ilikuwa in, kazi iko introduced by na yetu kwa sababu sisi kabla ya kazi ni washikaji wakati tunakuwa mazingira kazi sasa yakaja riski tunasema mm. kwamba sasa hili mbona hapa tunaweza tukafanya hichi lakini hili imekaa kikazi zaidi uh, management yake management yangu na sisi wenyewe kwa nikajikuta kwamba automatic na ya labda ni automatic kuna vitu sasa vinabidi vipungue kwa mfano kuna kipindi sisi ni washikaji watu hawajui au wanajua lakini watu wengine ambao hawajui wanaweza wakaona kwamba this guy is after diamond you know what it is kumbe mimi na yeye ni washikaji yeah. mimi na diamond miaka hiyo yani hatujatoka yani ni, ni, ni washikaji si umeelewa paka tumetoka paka tumeimba pamoja paka tume it's like a family unajua kwa hiyo ilivyo kuja kuintroduceiwa mazingira ya kazi automatic kuna vibe sasa ile inakata okay. kwa mfano mimi watu wengi ambao walikuwa namchukia diamond walikuwa na wananichukia na mimi mm. kwa sababu tu mimi niko karibu na mchukaji wako lakini mchukaji wangu umeelewa kwa mfano hata let's say alikiba alikiba mimi ni kaka yangu mshikaji wangu yani shaka naye tushasafiri tusha nini tusha nini lakini kwa kipindi mimi kwa niko karibu sana na diamond na kumbuka damo na alikiba kwa na tofauti zao. Kwa hata ule ukaribu sasa mimi na alikiba unakuwa unapotokea. Alafu kumbuke watu wana nyuma watu wale wanaita kama team yeah. fans na nini. People they don't understand kwamba kuna ushikaji. Yaani ukiacha au mambo ya mziki na utimu hawa watu ni binadamu wanaweza kuwatua ushikaji, umeelewa. Na damu unakuwa na maadui wengi kutokana na mambo yake na nini. Unakuta huku kuna kipindi ya na huyu au na huyu, umeelewa. Lakini yule mshikaji wangu kuna kuna beba maadui wengi sana pia wa diamond hiyo w- one of effect yeah. sijai kuizungumzia kokote na izungumzia leo kwamba nilikuwa na beba maadui wengi ambao mimi sina tatizo nao wana matatizo wenyewe umeelewa so wakati imeintroduceiwa swala la kazi na mimi nikaipima kwenye uku, kwenye ukubwa wangu wa almashauri ya kichwa nikasema okay So this is my friend. Lakini sasa hivi tuna mazingira mengine ambayo pia end of the time maisha lazima yaende. Kwa sababu let's say uh, unataka kutumia uh, something ambayo unahisi huyu mshikaji wangu anaweza akakifanya. Mimi naweza kumsaidia diamond au diamond akansaidia mimi. Lakini ile baadaye ina benefits. Labda kwa upande mmoja. Mm. Sasa hapo inatakiwa i benefits pande zote mbili wakati mwanzo tulikuwa tunafanya kishikaji kishikaji yani kwamba ah bwana tunaweza kuna kama watu wameonda behind the scene nyingi mimi niko na diamond diamond labda hana hata video yuko South Africa lakini issue ya yeah, kwangu yeah, au mimi sina hata video mm. kama kipindi kile kuna behind the scene ya harmonize kipiki imedondoka casting na nini mimi niko wala video ya inihusu wala nini lakini ulukua, ulukua, it's a family ulukua. yeah okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a family yani washikaji yeah, yeah, yeah. umeelewa mm. Kwa hiyo baada ya kukutana na hivyo vitu ikawa tena sasa hatuwezi tena sasa mimi naendaje kwa nini kazi yangu umeelewa inakuja ina inapunguza tu vitalati yeah. afu ikaja kitu kingine mimi nikaamua kuwa sawa na watu wote na hii nakumbuka ni mwambie diamond sasa mimi na family na nini lakini huku tunapoelekea 
inabidi sasa sheta naye ajitafute kwamba kuna vitu vinatokea vingi and don't take it personal bro it's just like maisha yanatakiwa aende hivyo wana maadui wengi afu maadui wengine wana remind mimi without kujua kwamba mimi pia na let's me, let me make this let me equalize these things mm-hmm. kwa hiyo ikabidi niwe sawa na kila mtu kwa sababu kiukweli wakati kipindi cha nyuma naona sasa itakuwaje hiyo ndugu yangu ndugu yangu lakini pia huu same time kutokana na vibe ya kipindi hichi labda tuko pamoja tutafanyaje wazi kata mimi unajua so me i'm not a snitch yeah. unajua mimi ni mtu ambaye straight forward kwa nini mwambia nasib kaambia bro i think don't take it personal and i don't take anything personal this is between me and you as a nini kuna vitu inabidi mimi niweke sawa so, na kitu kingine pia nilikuwa sikipendi ni ile kuonekana after diamond kwamba kwamba una unataka yani, yani kunufaika na yeye. Yaani not not like that. Yeah. Lakini after diamond yani kwamba yani kama kama diamond on me. Yani you know oh, something like that. Okay. Unajua so, of course kwa sababu diamond number moja mm. those days mkubwa na ni na watu wengi ambao wamepita kwa diamond uh, kwa washikaji wanasahau kwamba huu nafasi ambaye labda yuko naye mtu yoyote lakini huu ni mshikaji hata rais ana washikaji zake mm. lakini leo hii mtu anaweza akaenda kwa rais akaonekana labda yuko kwa sababu ya kitu au na nini umeelewa kumbe ni ushikaji yani watu walishachezaga huko yeah. wame nini umeelewa kwa kama sasa hivi mtu hapa aje ah, yule sasa hivi cha washeta kwa sababu sheta ni CEO mm. ni founder ni president no kuna washikaji zangu mimi wananijua huko najisaidia mita mia moja yeah. kwa siwezi kumtenga that so. was me and them oh. kwa nilikuwa nahitaji hiyo iko kwa sasa nikawa sasa sijui alkiba sijui kipindi kile yuko sawa na wema sepetu yeah. sijui nani watu wote ambao wako na ni mimi uko wana peace peace yani peace kulikuwa kuna kipindi mimi siwezi kupost kitu cha mtu kwa sababu sasa inaonekana ah, inakuwaje ni kitu ambacho nikaona lakini mimi vivitu havinihusu. Yeah. Yaani mimi sina bifu na mtu yote na nini? Umeelewa? Kwa nikaya najitafuta. Kwa katika kujitafuta ile ndio hapo sasa mambo mengine yanapungua kiutaratibu. Okay. Okay. Na, na I declare kwamba kuna kipindi tukaa muda mrefu atujongea mm. na Nastibia. Lakini tukaja tukaona ujue mtu mnakuwa ana maisha yake na maisha yangu. Uh, end of the time ile bond ya urafiki ndo kitu ambacho kina drive hivi vitu vyote. Yeah, yeah. Kwa tunaongea tuongea DM tunapigana sim tunataniana tuna nini yani hivyo kwa sababu afiki to come to realize, realize kwamba yani end of the time ndo nini sasa mm. umeelewa kwa sababu wakati ya ile transform <laughs> transformation yeah, yeah. ilikuwa kidogo kukubali, kukubali ya, ya ile ilikuwa ilikuwa ni shukio kweli i declare that okay. kwamba haikuwa raisi leo hii yani mimi ni mtu ambaye tulikuwa na car tunapiga story tuna nini tuna nini na nini afu nakuta labda kesho labda happy birthday mtu fulani ambaye ni asimu wake mm. <laughs> mkubwa sasa unajua <laughs> unakuwa unafikiria unaona hii na kaaje umeelewa yani lakini sasa end of the time lazima ya maisha aende nafikiri hiyo pia nayo imenisaidia cuz me i talk to everybody i don't have any beef with anybody sure. yani mimi ni mtu ambaye na yani nime, niko, niko sawa Neutral. na sitaki kuwa na tatizo na mtu na ndio maana hata kuna kipindi harmonize alitoka wasafi mm. nikaenda kumsupport kwenye show yake ya ile mambo ya nina nini alizaminiwa mambo ya vinywaji i don't oh, know yeah. aliniita kanambia bro one time Uka, yeah. nikaenda just to show love na ukumbuke hapo ameshatoka uh, wasafi yeah. na anafanya vizuri so i support naweza kumsupport Mario naweza kumsupport nani naweza kumsupport Alkiba umeelewa yani hivyo na Alkiba tunaongea mimi na Damon tunaongea mimi na mtu tunaongea kwa sababu na i think i'm happy with that because mm. siko katika nani yote ko wa, ka, ka, kuna mapambano yao hey. kuna nani end of the time some music as a business it's fine mimi naweza kuimba na mtu yote katika hapo naweza kufanya na kazi na mtu yote ndio kitu ambacho nilikuwa sina kipindi hicho uh-huh. kwa hiyo ilikuwa so rahisi pia kwa sababu kiukweli um, tulikuwa karibu sana sana yani we done a lot of things at the brothers menelio supporting each other yani kwa nafikiria hapa hata apart from music yani kazi na nini ya yeah 
kwa ile transformation ilikuwa kipindi kigumu sana yeah. lakini i'm happy ime ime ime, ime, ime leta matunda and uh, sasa hivi tunaongea kazi tunaongea vitu fulani hivi kwamba we need to go there na hiyo ndio ilikuwa dream yetu umeelewa kumbuke hata hiyo WCB kabla ya watu wote nilikuwa mimi Diamond na Hemedi PhD mm. yeah tafsiri ya Hemedi atakwambia Hemedi alikuwa na ushikaji na Diamond yeah those days yeah, yeah. Okay. sana kwa najipa vyo president chini na nini hivyo kimasiala masiala lakini ilikuwa inaitwa wasafi sasa okay. yeah. wasafi oh. yeah. na tulikuwa before that kuwa una kundi inaitwa Sharobaro tulikuwa hapo Sharobaro akina Bob Junior yeah. alikiba so kumbuka huko alikiba Bob Junior akin five karama nani tulikuwa huko kwa maana yake alikiba mshikaji wangu sana brother wangu Diamond mshikaji wangu as a brother sijui nani wote mane harmonize tumempokea pale video za kwanza tumesafiri kwenda mm. South Africa tunafanya na nini kwa hiyo mimi hasa wote hawa tunafahamiana sana akawa wapi umeelewa kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni challenge yeah. na mimi i didn't like to onekana after diamond kwa sababu apart from hivyo vitu vyote nimetoa mfano kwenye video labda ya kerewa mm. mimi nitafuta hela zangu kwenda kulipa sijui shkorobo umeelewa yani mwanzo ilikuwa inaonekana like kama Damon signed me. Eh. Well, na mpunga kwa. Eh, hey, no, kumbe sisi yeah, no, haijai kuwa hivyo hata okay. siku moja. Mimi uh, taingia imeanza. I pay myself, yeah. my bills, my everything. Ni family. Lakini I I declare kwamba alikuwa one of the brother ambao tuna supportiana ideas. Hapo kifanya hii itakuwa unyama. Eh, tu edit hivi. Yaani ilikuwa ni fair. Yaani ni vitu ambavyo tulikuwa tunavifanya for vibe. Okay. Yeah. Lakini sasa baadaye kadeka business introduced the avocat uh-huh. management na nini do, do you think uwepo wa manager kama Salam mm. ni miongoni mwa kupungua uh, kwa sababu ilibidi mm. mfanye manager arivie labda Salam mabuta yeah, um, no, no 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 mimi speaking of Salam uh, Babtale and other people and other artist na management tao i don't mind kwa sababu end of the time ito kuja kurealize yeah. this is a business bro You don't have to go and say something ambayo haiko sawa this is a business hata ukija hapa mimi ukikutana unakutana na management yangu it's a business yeah. typical business me i don't mind na ndio maana kwa nasemaga maremu asemwe uh, listen peace uh, kaka yetu baba yangu mimi namuita gadadi uh, ruge mutaba yeah. watu wako nalalamika sana about him Eh, kwamba sijui 1 2 3 anakunyonya kwa nini but nime come and realize kwamba kwa mfano mimi mimi naweza kaja kazi mimi nawapa kazi wasanii wenzangu wengi sana kwa tunayo mambo za sawa yeah. labda na nini mm. umeelewa unakuja mtu out from hiyo na sasa inakuja sio sawa mm. inakuja mtu kwa sababu sheta jamani anafanya mambo mazuri na nini unje sometime inakuja watu wana there was some budget ya ku ya ku ya kuwapa watu wakafanye hizo activities mm. kwa sababu budget zinakuepo unaangalia um, nani mtu wako wa karibu kama consultants si unajua kwamba imekuja mtu katoka zake sio wapi wanataka kwenda kufanya program same fly umeelewa unaita watu wako anambia eh wakubwa mimi labda sito perform hii lakini hapa inapatikana kila mkoa milioni tano mfano So wewe oh, ulisema una dakika tatu. Kwa sasa hii tatu yako period. Mm. Usi dakika tatu. Yeah. Mimi naweza kubageni hapa milioni tano Ukapata hii kazi, ukaenda mkafanya kazi ya mchana labda siku mkatafuta show zenu nani. Sio mbaya kupata ile mbili kwa sababu mimi nimefanyia kazi wewe ungeipata wapi? Yeah. Kwa hiyo nafikiri hata boss Ruge kwa iko sawa, iko sahihi and you don't need to ni, kwa hiyo maana yake ukisema hiyo ni unyonyaji ni uongo we hiyo inakukuta saa ngapi alafu kuna vingine sio watu wamekutafuta kuna vingine unajua kabisa hii inaweza kuisecure na ifuatilia maana yake ukisecure ukisecure mm. ukuwapa watu we ile kazi ya kusecure unajilipa wapi kama consultants tu yeah. ya vitu fulani na nini na nini eh middlemen dunia nzima wapo na middlemen wanatoboaga sometimes kabisa, kabisa. dunia nzima normal kuna agencies ni kama agents tu mm. kwa hiyo it's a business 
kuwepo kwa salam kwa kama jana mimi nilikuwa na salam tupige story nafahamu kwamba salamu ni mwanao sana sana umeelewa yeah. ni mshikaji wangu na niko introducing a business tena naishukuru mm. kwa sababu sisi tuko nafanya vitu family yani big time family okay labda imenisaidia pia kupata mawazo mengine kwamba kukua yani umeelewa yeah. umeelewa yeah. kwa sababu mwanzo ilikuwa regardless mtacho kitachosemwa ah bwana mimi mshikaji wangu kwa nini wanasema sisi family yeah lakini people would think like after ah bwana ah yule bwana unajua hizo yeah, kwa hiyo yeah. it's not uh, respect to me kama naweza kulipa vitu vyote hivyo afu bado mtu anaweza akaona kama you mean you get a lot of push yeah other than the financial which is so so ndo manga kupa hiyo story kwamba tafuta hiyo unaweza mimi nakuamini unaweza na anakubali mpiga mm. kwamba kwenye utafutaji tunaweza tukatapambana tukapigisha huko na huko kipindi kile cha kupigisha una mnapigisha papa papa pa, pa, uta anda vimeo utaanda nini utafanyaje utamuita mtu bwana yeye tajiri yangu sasa hapa na tunafanyaje hapa unajua zile mimi nataka kufanya kwa sababu una unajua strive for greatness unajua unatafuta ili ukafanye kitu kikubwa na hiyo imesaidia okay. na i'm happy and i'm very proud kwamba ni moja ya vitu ambavyo mimi nilipitia na vimenijenga. Mm. Uh, so we don't have any beef. Um ni washikaji tupige story. I'm happy anakuwa mkubwa amekuwa CEO and I think he's happy too. Umekuwa mkubwa I have an organization. Ndio zako nani tena? Ah, kaka naona organization inaenda sana. Umeelewa uh, yeah. nani? Yeah, it's something good. Yeah. lakini ingekuwa sasa after that alafu vitu vimekufa. There's no shit around yenge kwa yeah, yeah. Kwa lazima kuna kuna hiyo kananie kingekuwa yeah. lakini yeah. something is doing fine very fine big yeah. time bro big yeah. time yeah okay. yeah